Since the beginning of Pro Tools, DSP has always been part of our audio solutions. Having a DSP system allowed users to have a deterministic set of resources, no matter the speed of the host computer. Since that time, computers have become much more powerful and host-based systems have become the norm for most modern DAWs. But as powerful as native-based systems are, there is always the issue of latency to deal with. As your session grows and becomes more complex, you have to raise the buffer and this makes it difficult to manage monitoring delay for the artists that are recording. With the introduction of Pro Tools Carbon, Avid created a system that utilized the best of both the native host and dedicated DSP solutions with the Pro Tools Hybrid Engine. And now with Pro Tools 2021.6 or later, we are bringing this exciting technology to our flagship HDX system. This lets users have the power of the hybrid engine in a much more flexible and scalable solution. So the hybrid engine for Pro Tools HDX works like this. Your session's track and voice count, mixer, and plugin processing are all running on the native host, leveraging the power of your computer's CPU. Then, when you need to record or overdub an audio track, you place the track or tracks into DSP mode to move it and any corresponding tracks to the dedicated DSP chips on the HDX card. This puts all of the tracks onto an ultra-low latency monitoring path that runs alongside the rest of the mix in the native domain, allowing the artist to record without any monitoring distractions. And all of this is done with the click of a button inside of Pro Tools without having to use any external software. Once you're finished recording the track, you can easily put it back into native mode. And for those users that work with extremely large and complex sessions, such as in post or atmos mixing, the HDX hybrid engine allows you to use these DSP resources for load balancing sessions. Projects that once required both powerful computers and multi-card HDX systems can now be run on a single HDX card and a modestly powerful CPU. The great thing about the hybrid engine is that it works no matter how many tracks you have. And that's a good thing, as we're also including in this update the ability to have 2048 voices at all sample rates with Pro Tools Ultimate including HDX running the hybrid engine. To show the benefits of the HDX hybrid engine, let's take a look at a small tracking session. Here I have two bass tracks set up being fed from the same instrument input from a Matrix Studio connected to an HDX card. The first track is the DI track and is in DSP mode. The second track has amp modeling and a compressor plug-in and is currently in native mode. When both of these tracks are played together, you can hear a distinct slap delay between them, as the native track has more latency. But if we mute the DI track and play the process track to a drum groove, you will see that it is difficult to play in time with the drums. But once we activate DSP mode on the process track, all of the plugins and routing are now placed on the HDX card's DSP chip, and playing the DI and process track together sound and feel like they're coming straight out of an amp. Let's mute that DI track again and play the process track in DSP mode along with the drums. you can hear that it is now much easier to play in the pocket with the groove. With the addition of the hybrid engine, HDX systems are now more flexible and powerful than ever before. By leveraging the host CPU and the dedicated DSP chips in this way, you get the best of what each of these technologies brings to your creative environment. <laughs>